Hey everybody out there on YouTube, Facebook, next door. Just want to let you know we're still doing gutter clean. Um, this right here is actually a training video for using the Skyvac intersect interceptor. Um, I have my own technique that I like to use, and I just want to demonstrate that. So anyone out there who has one of these machines, uh, hopefully you get a little insight. I mean, you probably got your own way of doing things, but I'm gonna show you uh, my technique. What's what goes on in my head as I'm using the Skyvac interceptor? All right, I'm gonna. Hand the camera over to my assistant and get started. All right, action. We're going? <laughs> okay. All right, so um, basically I'm hooking everything up. I'm going to explain what's going on in my head. Uh, when you use your Skyvac, do not use it at maximum engine power. There's actually an indicator right on the side of it. You already know about that, but I've tested it out. It, it's not better to use maximum engine power. It just collapses. It, um, it collapses. The, the suction hose and that's not good so I always have it at the recommended setting so uh, what's going to happen is as I'm um, vacuuming up here I'm going to be tapping my gooseneck so this is my my favorite gooseneck attachment I like this one right here because it has this little space right here so I'm in the gutter I'm, I'm gliding you know left and right on the gutter and that's just going along so what I'm doing is I'm tapping whatever's in the gutter like that and I'm allowing the suction to happen on its own. So I don't want to stuff those leaves and straws on my gooseneck. I want it to naturally go right up there. And once it goes up so much that it, it's clogged, so to speak, it's going to stop su su sucking or it, the suction will be high. I'm going to lift whatever's stuck on. I'm going to do vacuum release. And when I vacuum release, it's going to fall down on the ground. So I look at this as my, my hand. This is my hand. My hand is in the gutter picking things up, going toward the drum, and once it gets full, my hand is full, I'll pick up my hand, take it over the gutter, vacuum release, let go of that, put the vacuum back on, and put it back in the gutter, and I'm tapping again, and my hand, every time I tap, that's my hand just grabbing whatever I wanna grab. So it's a very light tap. It's, it's like, not even that hard. It's very, very light tap. And you'll notice me tapping. So that's what I do to get the initial debris out of the way. Um, and then once I get the initial debris out of the way, I'll angle, like say this is the, this is the bottom of the gutter, I'll angle to the, this side and I'll start sliding, rocking it, tapping it and going that way. So whatever's in the gutter, it's literally sliding right into um, the, the gooseneck. All right, I'm gonna get started, give me a second. What I like about the, the belt driven one, it starts up really, really easy. got too many poles but I like having lo a one longer pole so I can reach I can stand in one place and I don't have to keep walking as much so my pole is long so I can reach around the corner so I don't feel anything I don't hear anything so I'm just gonna angle my, my gooseneck like this, so I'm gonna bring my gooseneck back. And I'm keeping the audio cue on, do I hear debris coming through? I don't hear anything. I hear something right here. Oh yeah, there it is. So when I hear something, I start tapping. And I'm not really particular. If I don't get everything, it's not a big deal. Because after I do this step, I have to switch it from vacuum to blow setting. And that little bit that did not get vacuumed, it'll blow right out of the gutter. So I'm just going to keep going. I'm almost to the downspout. I, I hear things. So I'm going left and right. I'm tapping on the downspout. There's something here. You see that? Uh -huh. Vacuum release. Wiggle it. Put it right back in. If it doesn't naturally go into it, then I, I don't force it in. I just let it build up right there and I'll just 
vacuum release. So every now and then I might take up my goosenecks to check it and see if anything's stuck on. You know? But basically it's very, very light, no forcing. Every time something gets on it, I'll just lift it up and vacuum release. It's not that hard. The, the machine does all the work. Sometimes it won't release when you vacuum. So you activate your vacuum and you just tap the gooseneck on the roof or whatever, and it should go right in. But you don't want to force this debris into the gooseneck. 